Well, hello everyone. This is Pastor Steve here with our Monday Minute for September 14th of 2020. And thanks for tuning in and joining us today. We've got a lot happening this week as we're kicking off some new adult studies and we're getting back into the swing of things as the school year has started up in a very different way, of course, than uh, we're accustomed to. But we're trying to get back into some of our normal routines and some of our fall offerings that we've been doing here at church. The first of which begins on Wednesday night at 6.30 when Reverend Gassaway will be leading his study called Glimpses of Grace. We hope that you'll take the opportunity to check that out. That will be a uh, Zoom study, so uh, you do have to have the link and uh, follow along with the Zoom app. Uh, that information is available for us on the church website and again on Facebook and our social media. So we hope you'll turn in for that. Next, I'll be leading a book study on Jesus for President, which is authored by Shane Claiborne. That book was first published during the 2008 presidential election and it was revised in 2012. And we're bringing it back now here in 2020 as we look at Shane's perspective on how it is that we as Christians should approach any election for that matter, not just a presidential election, and whom we owe our ultimate allegiance to and how that should inform us as we participate in American democracy there. So I look forward to leading that book study with you. That will be conducted via Facebook Live. You can get to that from our Newberg Facebook page. You do not have to actually be uh, a member of Facebook to be able to log into that, or you can get into that link through our website as well and participate in that discussion. You can get the book from several retailers, including Amazon, or uh, I have it on an ebook now. So either way, we hope that you'll pick that up and join us on Thursday nights as we continue with that study up through the election. Saturdays with Mrs. Karen is coming back this Saturday as well. So we hope that you'll tune in on our YouTube channel. And again, you can check our social media as uh, we get that back going for our children's ministry and a couple of other things that she'll be announcing for children's ministry at that time also. And then next week we begin uh, our youth group uh, and we hope that you'll check that out again on our social media and Instagram. And you can also get more information again at Newberg's Facebook page. And we hope you'll join us for that. As we begin this new week and we get into what is normally a fall season, we are not doing things the way that we normally would have. Yesterday we had a prayer walk instead of uh, a dedication of teachers on Sunday morning. Uh, we did not have our church picnic, but we've been finding alternatives to get together throughout the summer and an alternative like last night, and we'll still be looking at other alternatives going forward. But the things that we're doing are out of the ordinary, which is the title of our sermon series that we're going to be conducting through October, leading up into uh, the end of October and our stewardship campaign. And with that probably comes for us some anxiety. I know as a parent myself with the school year starting back up and things uh, not being the same way that they were, it generates a lot of anxiety and worry among us here as well. Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount in uh, the sixth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew talks a little bit about worry and anxiety. And Jesus tells us not to worry. Specifically, he talks about don't ask what you're going to eat or what you're going to drink or even what clothes you're going to wear. And he says that God is the one who has clothed us and God is the one who provides for us and that we don't need to worry about these type of things because if we trust in God, that is all that's going to be provided for us and much more. Instead, Jesus says at the end of uh, the sixth chapter of Matthew's gospel to seek first God's kingdom and God's righteousness and then all of these things will be given to you. Now that phrase uh, has been uttered uh, quite a few times about seeking first the kingdom of God and also we've kind of taken it to the point where that's something that we should always be striving after which is true but that doesn't mean that we're simply to just sit back and rely on God. What Jesus is talking about is to set aside our anxiety, not just about a few material things, but all things, and to help us to look forward to what it is that we can do together. Paul says in Romans chapter 5 that we are justified by faith in seeking after God's kingdom. So therefore, that gives us peace with God. And when we have that peace, 
we don't need to worry. And in fact, when we have that peace, we can transform that worry into hope. You see, when we have hope and we are a people of hope, we know that we can endure whatever it is that lies ahead. Specifically, Paul says that we know that in our suffering, as some of us have been doing uh, for quite a while now, and as we have been coping and suffering with the world, we know that we are going to have the endurance and the materials and the resources to be able to get through this. And that endurance is going to produce character. And that character is going to produce strength. And that strength is going to produce hope. And hope, Paul says, never disappoints us. Because God has poured God's love into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that's been given to us. We seem to be lacking hope in a lot of ways. We are trying to make sure that things get done in a quick manner and we want all of this stuff to go away and we want everything to go back to normal. And when it doesn't do that, we seem to lose our hope. But we also have to remember that we need to have the endurance for running in the times that we are right now. And Jesus calls us and tells us to remember that if we are striving after first and foremost the kingdom of God, as we endure these things and as we share our hope not only for ourselves but as we share our hope for the world then we know that we can endure through all of these things because it is God who gives us that strength through the power of the Holy Spirit. So in this week ahead and in these uh, coming weeks as we're getting back into some old routines and having to develop some new routines let's remember to carry that hope with us to not worry and to know that God is with us and is going to be with us and to help us to endure and to give us strength and will bring us on to the other side where we will be better and the kingdom of God will be better for all of us all together. God bless you and have a great week. We'll see you next time.